Blood cancers have become a major contributor to many deaths not only in the country but globally. Late diagnosis being one of the many reasons why patients struggle with the disease. I was bedridden and then I used a wheelchair for a whole year. It was really hard for me to, to learn how to walk again. I was, at the same time I was also on pampas because I had really lost a lot of weight. I couldn't walk. And then when I started walking, I was targeting a lot. However, if the disease is diagnosed early, then the patient can get treatment. I was diagnosed in 2021, and it was um, in the morning when I felt a sharp pain in my stomach, which is later what I was told was splenomegaly. And then um, I was seen in a local hospital just like uh, by a normal general practitioner and who was very quick to refer me on the same day. And on the same day, I was referred to a hemato-oncologist who I gave a call and saw on the same, same day. This has seen experts come up with alternative interventions for blood cancer treatment to help thousands of patients. Through the support of uh, Max Foundation and Novartis, we have seen patients here who have visited us today who have been on treatment for 15 years and is available in Nairobi Hospital, which is a premier treating uh, uh, facility. Uh, it has now been uh, uh, devolved. Uh, it is also in uh, Kenyatta National Hospital, Jaramogi uh, Yoginga Ondinga Hospital in Kisumu, Moi Teaching and Referral Hospital in Eldred, uh, Nakuru PGH uh, Hospital, and uh, uh, the Coast General Hospital in Mombasa. And considering that most healthcare providers are employed by the county governments, there is a need to empower them in order to provide the best healthcare to anyone who's seeking the services. When I came in, they were called community health volunteers. And you know, a volunteer can down their tools whenever they want. <laughs> community health workers, however, have a contractual obligation to us. And we make sure that they are remunerated very well so that they don't get tempted to, after training and so on, to go off. And I think that is very important. And as the saying goes, prevention is better than cure. Therefore, there is a need to strengthen preventative measures for blood cancers. Of course, if you have universal health coverage, uh, then uh, one thing you are going to make, uh, screening, early detection, early diagnosis, uh, treatment, uh, available and affordable. It has to be accessible, it has to be uh, affordable, yes, and it has to be effective. It has to be quality. There is also a need for the government and stakeholders in the health sector to come together to ensure that the burden of medical costs is not left entirely on the patient who is already burdened by the disease. For a week I used to pay 25,000 shillings, so I feel maybe without this, this you know, initi initiative and this foundation, Maybe you could have sold stuff from my family and uh, it, it could have really drained us. And who knows, maybe I wouldn't even be here today. The month of September is usually set aside to create awareness on blood cancers. This saw stakeholders convene at the Nairobi Hospital, including patients, non-governmental organizations and doctors, to create awareness and empower patients. Roby Omondi, K24.